Hello and welcome, folks, to episode 9 of Mag Nation Thunder, presented by the Long Island Paranormal Investigators. Helping the living, the dead, and those in between. Long Island Paranormal Investigators. If something goes bump in the night in the tri state area and you want to investigate, give us a call. Or, better yet, reach us online at www. LIParanormalInvestigators.com As you can see, our logo's all over the ring. Thank you very much. So, making his way down to the ring, or driving around the ring, as it were, the American Bat-Ass. Yeah, I went there, folks. Mr. Batman making his, pretty much his debut on Thunder. He is usually a main card wrestler, but um, it's looking like he needs to get back on that winning track. So hopefully this will help propel him back into some sort of title scene. I and mean, the last title scene he was really in was the hardcore title uh, when he got his ass beat by the tick. And there was maybe Batman and Robin, I believe, was a tag team thing for a little bit, but never really amounted to anything. Something to that effect. But his opponent making his way to... The Ring is Ghost Rider, a alum of Team NXT Season 3, the little thing, little shindig I put together uh, a few years back on 2K14. Uh, he did have a little success uh, last time he was on Thunder and tried to make the springboard, uh -huh, blue, up to Team and Green, but uh, didn't make much of an impact there. So he is back down here to hone his skills. Against Batman, that's a uh, that's pretty stiff competition right there. Uh, Batman might just be the gatekeeper to the big leagues, as it were. So hopefully, my man Johnny Cage, Johnny Cage, oh, good God, Nicholas Cage, who put the hurt on Batman. And it looks like we are not done here, folks, because there's going to be a third competitor. Oh, everything's going blue. It's Jessica Jones. Purple Man. Oh, no. It's just Yugi Moto. The U. Fresh off his Patreon match on Green 94, I believe it was. That match was brought to you by Survivor. As a Patreon member... You do get certain perks, and one of those perks is making your own match once a month. No matter who you want on the Magnation green or blue roster when blue comes back, you will choose a match. So this is Survivor's match. Uh, all right, he, that was Survivor's match, excuse me. Yugimoto versus uh, his main man, Joey Wheeler. Yo, former Adam Way champion, you go. He got his ass beat. Yugi Moto really uh, showing the chaps, as it were. Uh, did we really invent that? I, ho I really don't think we invented that. Or something. Really do think that. Oh, you can hear me now? Okay, good. Yeah, that's probably going to happen a bunch of times because I have a piece of crap microphone. But I will keep my... Oh, that you... Give you this awesome commentary. As Flash Dancing... Still making his entrance. Yeah, stretch it out, Yugi. You need to stretch out those leather pants because uh, your mobility is not what it needs to be whilst wearing those pants. But we digress. Yeah, okay, so it's just a triple threat match. All right. Just a triple threat match. As it were. <laughs> Yugi coming out strong, punching absolutely nothing, and then immediately taking a break. Oh, <laughs> and gets DDT'd for, his good, for good measure. Ghost Rider. Big slam. Oh, almost a falcon arrow right there. Shades of the deal, but no one kicks out of the deal. What the hell? Oh, 
Oh my god, Gorilla Press. Oh, I thought he was going to Gorilla Press him right outside the ring. Big clothesline from Batman. Another float over DDT. Take a drink. It is early morning, so no beer tonight. I mean today. Just uh, some Poland Spring. Batman stalling suplex, but Yugi gets out of it. Wriggles his way. Then snapback suplex. And for his pleasure, he gets tossed against the ropes. And a big elbow there. Kareem Abdul Jabbar watching on. Yeah, he, that's right, he's back. What? Oh, it was going to the top rope, but chooses instead to take a respite on the outside. Double chops to the, e to the side of the neck, it looked like. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. giant bat boot there from Batman. And, oh, powerful maneuver. Oh, Nicolas Cage gets out of the way. Another clothesline of his own. Yugi is down after that. Just making his way to his feet now. Oh, all of these competitors on overdrive trying to make something of themselves as they have not had good showings as of late in the main roster. So this is their chance to really make a splash here on Thunder. Brought to you by Long Island Pound Normal Investigators. That's right, Yugi. Get out of here, Yugi. Bye-bye. Fireman's carry. Batman still having the wherewithal to take on Ghost Rider. Throws him to the headlock. Another snap suplex. Batman. Who knew Batman had so many suplexes in that utility belt? Oh, you dropping that elbow. Looks like it missed. Kind of hurt him there a little bit. That Millennium Puzzle Piece is really helping him out in this one. Dropping the knees. If you please. Oh. I guess he was trying to drop a fist, but kind of missed. What? Immediately do a pin. One. Oh. Batman, you sneaky beaky. These guys are in overdrive right now. You'd think you'd be watching an atom weight match. <laughs> oh, a stun gun there on Yugi. To the outside goes Batman. Springboard, a planche of bullshit. Kind of hurt his neck there. Good thing he's wearing that giant bat cowl. And opportunistic Nicolas Cage. One, only a one count. Kick to the back of the head. He may be a pharaoh, but he is still inside a 12-year-old's body. God help him. <laughs> oh, horrible. Absolutely gut-wrenchingly horrible on that one. Oh. No, rope break. Rope break. Karuna Diljabar is right there. Right on top of things. Moto blocks the attack. Strikes of his own. Abdominal stretch. Oh, into a gut buster. Yugi it's haunting the crowd. Are you not entertained by Millennium Crowd of Dual Kid List Kingdom? Yugi references, Yu-Gi-Oh! references and such. Batman, side Russian leg sweep. And immediately turns his attention to Nicolas Cage. I know I keep calling him Nicolas Cage. It's uh just a force of habit. Dropping that neck breaker. If, if you listen closely, you can really hear the Nicolas Cage when he yells at the referee. But, uh, I'll let you guys know when that, when, when, when that happens. Oh my god. Oh my god, is this a... Is this a... Oh, I thought that was a pile driver. Oh, I thought that was going to be a pile driver. That would have been the end of Batman right there. Yugi Moto, trying to get back in the ring. One. There we go. Breaks it up just in time. And goes for the pin himself. The opportunistic fuck that is Yugi Moto. Oh, a big uppercut there. Right down to the ground. That can't be enough. One. Only one. He may be a 12-year-old child. I wonder if Yugi Moto. Yugi Moto. What? Okay. I'm here, guys. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little head. I'm still here. Into another rolling maneuver. It's good. Some sort of angle. Hear me. Otherwise, it's a piece of gabby. Oh! Rolling out of the ring. There goes Yugi. 
Batman going for that pin. One. Oh, only a one count. Drop kick to the back of the head. Yugi staring on the outside. Trying to gain his composure as Batman going to work on Nicolas Cage. Tosses him into the corner. Oh, a pitch slap. And what looked to be a forearm shiver? I couldn't really see what that was. It's not going to be enough to pin him. You have to actually have to do, you know, a maneuver. <laughs> see, there you go. That wasn't even a one count from Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Yugi Modi immediately comes back in. Oh, almost deadlifts him from his buttocks. Oh, big takedown there. Another going for another pin. A lot of pins in this match. Not, not, not the smartest of plays. Not the smartest of plays. Oh, big elbow to the gut. Nicholas Cage is stunned. What are you gonna do, Yugi? Another, <laughs> another rollover. But his foot is on the ropes. That's not gonna do it. Sorry, you're trying to go for that ankle lock. Shades of Kem Shamrock. Uh, he got you, Dragon Screw. Something. Batman has no idea. Into a Yugi Moto step over. Oh, into a pin. No way. One, two. Wow. Yami Yugi. No way. Wow. Okay, you. Um, maybe you do deserve a. Uh, a little run at some sort of Adam Way contendership because god damn Yugi god damn you pulled this one out uh these guys are no slouches no slouches whatsoever you got uh, a hell spawn and you got arguably one of the best superheroes that DC has to offer and they are beaten by a 12 year old with a fucking pharaoh on his head wow just wow well, if you had Yugi Moto in your pool, that's three points for you. Three points for you, sir. Because I sure as hell did not have Yami Yugi winning this. I thought he was the one that was going to be getting pinned. Especially after all these rolls into ankle locks that uh, just didn't happen. Just did not materialize, as it were. But that is your winner. Yami Yugi. Fresh off his Patreon win. Oh, and here you go, folks. That is a beautiful looking Killmonger. Holy crap. Killmonger versus Leonidas in a tables match. So, the winner of this gets to move on. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. What am I, th what am I saying? This is a tryout match for Killmonger. So, if you like what you see from our man Killmonger, please... Please go to m4gnation.com and make sure you vote to have him be a part of the Magnation. But if he suck at a barrage, make sure you go to m4gnation.com and let us know not to bring him back. From at Wakanda, the great Killmonger from a great movie that I did not see. But from what I understand, he basically has the same deal as Black Panther, except he's gold. And a jaguar. A jaguar. A shagwire. As it were. But he is looking menacing as fair right now. And he does not have a slouch of an opponent to go against. He has one Leonidas he has to deal with which is a former tag team champion with Spartan Fury and a former contender for that Magnation title. I'm pretty sure it was the upper card title that he was in like a six-way bout for it and something to that effect. Needless to say, he was up there. He was up there. But now, like Batman, he has fallen to the ranks of... Uh, Team and Thunder. And Killmonger taking his sweet ass time, relishing every last bit of his entrance into the ring, trying to milk every vote. Well, at least he is a showman. And if your wrestling is half as good as your entrance, 
people should vote to keep you around, like uh, they did for the last person. I think it was Captain Nemo from Lead of Extraordinary, G Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, he did have that one match and destroyed his opponent, so he got to hang around. Haven't seen him since, but hey, what are you going to do? And now, Killmonger's opponent. Oh, there we go. Golden Jaguar in full effect. Shagwire. He is ready for Leonidas. And we are ready for his entrance. There we go. Is this going to take another 15 minutes? Surveying his domain is Leonidas. He is looking kind of bug eyed. Kind of bug eyed. <clears throat> like you can't tell if he's on crack or if he's scared out of his mind to be facing. The Golden Shagwire. Yeah, run your hand through that Spartan mane. The leader of the 300 at Thermopylae. Yeah, that's a 300 reference, in case you didn't know. Look at those eyes. Jesus Christ. My shades of Bubba Ray Dudley. Crazy eyes. If you know what I mean. <sighs> this is going to be one hell of a match. So while we're waiting right now, make sure you go to m4gnation.com and find our merchandise page. That's probably in the description below. Buy yourself a hoodie. Buy yourself a t-shirt for your favorite Magnation Blue or Magnation Green. Speaking of blue, where are you? Trevor, we miss you. I hope you're having fun down in sunny Florida. But please come back to us. Please. 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 All right, we're finally at... Oh, my God. What just happened to his hair? It looks like his hair grew into his mane. Jiminy Christmas. Pretty sure they didn't have mohawk mullets back in uh, the time of 300. A Killmonger coming out strong. Big scoop slam. He's a towering guy. I did not think Michael B. Jordan was that big. Takes a run. <laughs> oh my god, Shining Wizard already? Throws him over. Wow, makes it to the top row real quick. Oh, but misses that big body splash. Little overconfident there. And Leonidas has got to slow things down. The brute force against the speedy technical wrestling that is the Golden Shagwire. Now, in case you don't understand what I'm saying, the Golden Shagwire, that is from Austin Powers. He used to drive a Jaguar, but he called it a Shagwire. You can get it, because he used to like the fuck. Yeah. Oh! My god. A chokeslam powerbomb from Leonidas? That instantly slows down his opponent. Oh, and as I say that, big jawbreaker and a crucifix pin. Almost, oh, take down. Almost into a pin. Ooh, Killmonger is feeling it now. Wow. Big reverse DDT. Shaking the ropes on that one. Kick to the small of the back. Oh, reverses there from Leonidas. He beat thousands upon thousands of uh, invading barbarians or whatever with only 299 men by his side. Well, 298 eventually once his kid died. Spoilers. But he is still holding his own against the Golden Jaguar. I mean, so far, he is definitely putting on quite a show. As of right now, though, he is getting beat down by the powerful maneuvers. Whoop. And reversed into a DDT. Take a drink. I'm making that a thing. Going back to the top rope. We can actually get a hit this time. Oh, flying elbow. Catches everything. Ooh, big punch to the face. Wow. Knocks him to the ground. That's one hell of a punch right there. Reversed yet again. The strength and technical wrestling is unmatched here. 
I mean, Leonidas definitely has strength, but he doesn't have the speed that Killmonger seems to have right now. Oh my god, and the power. Like, nobody with that speed should be able to do stuff like that. Oh yeah, it's a tables match. Totally forgot about that. Completely and utterly forgot that this was a goddamn tables match. I was just having a good time watching these guys beat the crap out of each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Killmonger showing no mercy. Gets it ripped away. <laughs> oh, it takes one giant swipe from that golden paw. And Leonidas is down on the ground. Through the table. That claw goes. Snapmare. Big drop kick yet again. Killmonger really putting the screws to Leonidas. And finally that table gets set up in the center of the ring. Oh, he dodged it. Wow. Look at that. He all right, but it got reversed into a jumping DDT. But that was a good little juke. He just uh, shimmied out of the way of that. That's not bad. That's not bad whatsoever. Oh, is anyone else going to steal one right here? No way. No freaking way. That's right. Killmonger pushes him off. To snoo suplex right through it. Right through it. Oh! So close. If that was a suplex instead of a brain buster, that would have been it. Oh, is Killmonger calling for something? Calling for a finisher? Quick little DDT. That better have not been your finisher because that was weak sauce. Weak sauce. Leonidas getting back into this match. Trying to tear that mask off. That's not really going to work when it's pure vibranium. Sorry, dude. You're, even all your Spartan Fury cannot tear away some vibranium. And now the jawbreaker. That table still sitting precariously in the center of that ring. And Killmonger finally noticing it. But, oh my gosh. Put him through the table. Off the top rope. Put him through the table off the top rope. Or not. That would be amazing. This is good. Ooh. Eat his boots. Killmonger setting it up. Will this be the end of Leonidas? Will this be the beginning of a great career for Killmonger? Into the table, and he follows through. Nope, reversed. As he gets put through, oh, wow, he's bleeding already? Bleeding already, Killmonger? No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and just like that, Leonidas takes the victory. After all that pageantry, after all that, Leonidas comes away victorious with all he had was a quick elbow to send Michael B. Jordan reeling and a powerbomb through the table. And Leonidas spoils the debut of Killmonger. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I feel the hearts of hundreds of thousands of Wakandans breaking. Oh my god, you better watch out, sir, because that... Oh, look at that. That's nice. Oh, Killmongers will have none of that! <laughs> he says, fuck that shit, and walks out on Leonidas. Wow. Just wow. Huh. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, we have some tag team action with... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Team America. I don't know if that's not their team, that's what I'm calling them, because it's Team America. Versus... Space Cases? Something to that effect? Hopefully the name will come up when they enter the ring, because I remember somebody named them something. Dark Matter? Maybe Dark Matter? No, Dark Matter was uh, Jaren and Spawn. But we shall see. As we have a tag team matchup. But of course. Of course. June 6th, 1944. A date.
that shall live in infamy. No, wait, that's D Day. The date that shall live in infamy is uh, Pearl Harbor. I think that was December. Regardless, we, <laughs> we have the team of Bandit Keith and Guile from Street Fighter fame making probably their second, I want to say their second one. And he's saying, it's Khan's time, let's go get in the ring, Bandit Keith. We got a show to do. That's right, we don't got forever. And their opponents making their way into the arena, the Space Invaders. Space Invade RS. Yeah, not bad, Space Invaders. Isn't it, isn't it great? Isn't it great, man? Yeah, we'll go with it. You guys voted for it. We'll take it. Not the greatest, but it's not the worst. There's a lot worse. But uh, these guys all are pretty much making their Thunder debuts. Because uh, it looks like everyone tonight really needs a win. And uh, it really hasn't been featured much on the main series card. So they need to knock off that ring rust and uh, try to get themselves back into contention in some sort of title scene. Oh, and here we go. Big Hurricane Rana already. Punches to the face. Yeah, ra yeah ra round them up there, there Lou. Good job, Boba Fett. Big uppercut. I'm doing atomic drop, old school. Guile picks him up. Do a twisting neckbreaker. You gonna try to pin him already, dude? What are you doing? Where are you going? Okay. Some. It is a tag team match. I guess there will be tag team maneuvers. Not a problem. And Bandit Keith immediately taunts. And immediately tags back him back in. Nope. Okay. There you go, Space Ghost. Time to wake up. Big neck drop. Trying to tag in his opponent, Boba Fett. Former two-time back-to-back Royal Rumble winner. And has not amounted to much since. Suffice it to say. Sorry. And Bandit Keith, former Magnation champion, if I'm not mistaken. At least for a little bit. I'm pretty sure he had a little rivalry with Ryu back in like uh, 2K14, if I'm not mistaken. Bandit Keith elbows out of it into a big belly-to-back suplex, picking up the Mandalorian murderer himself. Himself. Dragging him to the other corner. Bandit Keith trying to crawl away. But Space Ghost is right there. Uh, he was right there. But let the hat, ta hat tag. Let the hot tag happen anyway. And Bandit Keith is nowhere to be seen as he rolls out of the ring after that hot tag. But Guile, like a man on fire right now. Looking to deliver a sonic boom to the face. Right there. Of Space Ghost. Sonic boom. And a big reversal there from Space Ghost. Former tag team champion. Former Solar Flare champion, I believe, as well. Tagging in his partner. Boba Fett trying to get that elbow through that tuft of hair. That is Guile's head. Giant golden flat top. <laughs> Protects many, many an offense. <laughs> Offensive maneuver. Oh, you stretch out his quad. Stretch out that hammy. Ah, oh, he's such a nice guy. Stretching out his hammy and putting his balls in his head, in his ear. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. You're such a friend, Guile. You're such a good friend. Tossed into the the corner into the corner. Oh my gosh! Into a pile driver. Oh my god! Going for a pin. One. Two. Oh man. Space Ghost just taking his sweet ass time. Gets bulldogged. And rolls all the way out of the ring. 
And now has no one for his partner to tag. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to drag him over there, but he's not going to be there. Space Ghost is not over there. Yep. Like I said, Space Ghost, not over there. This is all you, sir. This is all you. Oh, looking for that Slave 1 kick, and that did not happen. Did not connect. And Guile, ready to counter. Into a pin immediately. One. Only one count. Space Ghost still nowhere to be seen. There we go. Scaring the crap out of Kuma Abdul Jabbar. Who had shin replacements. He had to have shin replacement. Or had to have his shins removed, like uh, Cotton <laughs> from King of the Hill. That's why he's so short right now. Oh, the sharpshooter turns him over. Oh, but he is right on the ropes. That is a rope break. And <laughs> Bandy Keith wants no part of Guile, apparently. This is uh, Guile's uh, show. And. Uh, you think two guys full of such American pride would be good tag team partners, but apparently not. Apparently not. And going to you know, try to pin, you know, dropping those knees, but misses. Wow, Kyle just overpowering Boba Fett right now. Overpowering him. There we go. That's a tag team, double team maneuver right here. Bandit Keith's going to fly. Woo! America. Boba Fett is reeling. And Bandit Keith is taking his sweet ass time. Wow. Just wow. And that's how you get reversed, sir. You got to stay on Boba Fett. He has the stamina of a of something with a lot of stamina. Oh, a running power bomb into the bottom rope. That's going to snap your neck, sir. Boba Fett kicks him to the gut. Flip over neck breaker. Tag your opponent. Uh, tag your partner. Tag your partner. Tag your partner. This is not going to end well for you. Oh! The slave won boot. And calling for something else. He is not done. <laughs> so fall in the back of the head. Get in there, Space Ghost. One. Only a one count. Space Ghost, that was goddamn awful. Go do something that's productive. For the love of God. And get out of the corner. It's not your corner. Get out of the corner. Oh, my God. The love of Christ, Space Ghost. See, now he's looking for the tag. There's no one there. So he's got a springboard. Got him. Boba Fett finally turning on. As he has been for the better part of this match. Oh, but he is starting to look winded. He is using every last bit of strength right now. There we go. That's going to be a double team move right now. There we go. Get Space Ghost back in there. Former Solar Flare champion. Do some damage. What is this? Oh! Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Bandit Keith, right back to his feet. Gotta stay on Space Ghost. Oh, no, no, no. Space Ghost is the freshest competitor in that ring right now. Big reverse to a suplex. Space Hill's gonna fly to the top rope. Oh, a big senton going for the pin. One, two. That was almost it. Kareem Abdul Jabbar running perfect pick for Space Ghost right there. Oh. Now we need to see the Space Ghost coast to coast. That will get me a little bit hyped. Another big Hurricane Rana there. That's what he used to open up the match. He's picking up his opponent too much. He's going to do some ground-based maneuvers. See, there you go. You just got reversed. What did I just say? A reversal of his own. The technical wrestling that is Space Ghost. He's getting reversed himself. No, you should not be taunting there, sir. Definitely should not have been taunting there, sir. 
Oh, rolls out of the way. Back and forth. Match we have going right now. Reversal upon reversal. Getting sent into the corner. Slowly turning him around. Oh, that's why you get a boot to the face. Big drop. Going for a pin. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar again running interference. One, two. Just got there. Ooh, takes that Boba Fett. Going to the outside. Where are you going? What are you doing? Calling for Banner Keith to get up. Springboard. <laughs> Jumps right over him and busts his ass. <laughs> oh, Banda Keith still reeling. You have one more chance. Do something. There we go. He got him. And a nice little stun gun. That'll do something at least. Uh oh. Is he calling for it? Well, he was calling for it before and totally missed. <laughs> so. It's reversed. Bandit Keith kind of tagging Guile. And there we go. The best American that Street Fighter has to offer. Unless you want to count Ken. Ken, I guess, is technically American. But he, like, trained and stuff in Japan, so... I don't know about them apples. Well, oh my god! Oh my god! Out of nowhere. Going for that pin. One, two... Oh, only a two count. Boba Fett, get your ass up. What are you doing? You've been on the floor for a good ten minutes. corner. Woo! Big chop. A Ric Flairian chop. Guile. Really feeling it now. Space Ghost has no idea what's coming for him. Taking down the ground. The sharpshooter being applied. Invented by a Canadian. Being used by an American. Might want to get in there, Boba Fett. Might want to get in there, Boba Fett. Uh, he has full faith in his partner that he will not submit. He will not yield to the sharpshooter. Which has ended many an opponent in recent weeks. Many an opponent. Hot tag. Here comes Boba Fett's. Oh! Big kick there. And immediately gets tossed to the corner. Guile will have none of that shit. Boba Fett immediately... Oh my god! Kicked him and almost guillotined him. Oh my god. His neck getting caught on that bottom rope, almost shattering his trachea, staggering around his guile. Boba Fett with a huge slave one kick to the face. But Space Ghost is nowhere around to set that pick. Bandit Keith is going to run in there in the second. Karun Diljabar goes down for that pin. One. Only a one count. That would have been a nice way to end it, folks. That would have been a great way to end it, folks. But Boba Fett sees his opening. Oh, for the douchebag. Elbow to the back of the head. Going for that pin. One, two, misses yet again. Space Ghost, not quick on the chops. Not so quick on the chops. Oh, he's going for another running power slam, a power bomb, but nope. Guile reverses it. Oh, into a, a snap neck breaker? That was crazy talk. Crazy talk indeed. <laughs> oh, um, a, a clothesline from his knees from Banda Keith? Oh, no. Oh! Oh my god, he's dead! He is dead! He shattered the fourth dimension on that one. And again! Oh my god! Oh my god, someone get into the hospital! He's got seven minutes to live! That trachea is broken! Oh my god! Bandit Keith! A man possessed! Giving absolutely no shits about the wherewithal of Boba Fett. Running interference. One, two. Oh, just got there. Taking out Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is Space Ghost. 
his last resort. Otherwise, that would have been it after all those maneuvers. Oh, my God. I thought he was going for the referee. I thought he was aiming for the ref. <laughs> Holy crap. The end of this match is getting hype, folks. How is it going to end? The Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is still down on the ground. The Mandalorian murderer jumps right back to his feet. And Guile is stunned on the outside. Reversed into a reverse DDT. Take a drink. That's a thing. <sighs> Dropping those knees. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is back in this match. Another fireman's carry. How are we going to top this, folks? This is one hell of a tag team match for right now. Toss over. Goes to the second row. Moon salting. That's no moon. That's a space station salt. Staggering his opponent. The Mandalorian murderer with a slave one kick in there. Is Space Ghost ready to run interference? No. No. What are you doing? Pin him. Pin him. Oh. Side suplex. Now what are you calling for? What are you calling for? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, and there it is. The Fet dragging him to the center of the ring. Going for that pin. Space Ghost. Get in there and run some interference. One. Two. Oh, good God, Space Ghost. You could have won again. You could have won again. Oh, Jesus H. Christ almighty. Christ on a cracker. Boba Fett. You can tag your tag team partner. He is right there. Throw him into the corner. Throw him into the corner. Tag team maneuver. Reversed. Gets tossed to the other corner. Guile, pay attention, Guile. Here he comes. And now here is your tag team maneuver. Both guys going to the top rope. The can-can. Oh! Wow. Oh, my God. I do not believe what I just saw. He's going back to the second rope for some more punishment. As if that was not enough. That Mandalorian armor is starting to shatter. Throws his arm over for a stalling suplex. That's right, roll out of the way. Picks him up, but Guile wriggles out of it to reverse DDT. Take a drink. Gets tossed into the other corner. Woo! Rick Flarian chops. That's probably where it came from. He's quick on the chops. Because he used because I remember Tonka used to chop a guy a lot. Maybe that's where it came from. Looking for another tag team maneuver? Nope. Wriggles out of that. Oh, Bandit Keith with a sucker punch. <laughs> Staggering Boba Fett. Oh, but he's back. Looking to grab him and not catching the sucker punch. It gets reversed into another reverse DDT. Take a drink. Guile looking for something. Going for that sharpshooter. Yet again. But that's the ropes. Dems the ropes, folks. That's what happens. That is what happens. Guile, throwing him over for a pin. One, two. That was garbage. That was trash. That ending was trash. But there were some good moments in there. There were definitely some good moments. But your winners, June 6th, 10th, 1944. D-Day. V-Day. The Golden Generation, or the Greatest Generation, whatever you want to call it. But that was one hell of a match. They definitely put on a show. Definitely put on a show. And it's kind of showing why they're on Thunder right now. Uh, with the ending of that match, you know, it was great. Uh, you know, suspense building, you know, building up to it. 
And then when it got to that climax, it just didn't do it for you. Sorry. Just couldn't finish there. But you had fun along the way, right, folks? You had fun along the way. And you're victors. Team America. Is there anything more American than these two right now? The big buff Bandit Keith. And God, with his really tiny hands. It's like he's got tiny hands and really thin wrists. He's got like women wrists. He wears women's watches. Oh, and for your main event of the evening, a tag team match, a women's tag team match to see who will make it into the first ever Women's Tag Team Tournament. On one side, you have Tifa and the White Witch. I forgot what else she's... But she's also the White Witch. I know that for sure. And in the other, coming down to the ring, it is Jinx by herself. I could have sworn that her and... Uh, her and Nina Williams would have made their together. Uh, the coattails of Nina. That was the whole thing. Like, that was the thing that they did. Things. And things. But, if you want to be a women's tag champion, you really should be coming down to the ring as a tag. These two really are the only tag team I can really think of that would make that have been together. I guess you could say the longest, because uh, uh, at least Jinx has been up her butt, has been up Nina's butt since Nina was champion not too long ago, going so far as to interfere in Nina Williams' matches to give her the edge. Yes, you, 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 you. We know. And her tag team partner, former women's supernova champion. That's what it's called, supernova champion. Miss Nina Williams of fame with that beautiful bouffant or bump or whatever the hell it is in her hair. Yes. She is pumped to be here, folks. And I know I am. I know I am. Unless this doesn't record, in which case I will be completely bummed. Severely bummed. And the next, and when you guys hear it, I will be less enthusiastic. But as of right now, I am putting my faith in my H4 recorder that I am indeed recording my voice for these matches as I take a drink filler 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 so be sure you like comment subscribe be our patreon ring the bell be our bell bros and follow the links in the description to all our twitters so you can keep abreast of what's going on in the bag nation Speaking of abreast, Miss Tifa Lockhart at T.I. Star, 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 Cart. Uh, I wonder what they would be starring out there. You can't really put stars in a Twitter handle. I'm pretty sure of that. Pretty sure of that. But Tifa of Final Fantasy fame making her way to the ring, probably for her first tag team match, uh, her first time as a tag team partner with the White Witch. Who's Emma Frost. There we go. Emma Frost. You see, I didn't need the name. I knew it. It came to my brain really quick. So I knew what was going on. And Miss Tifa Lockhart's tag team partner Coming down to the ring is, of course, 
Miss. Emma Frost. Or this person, Emma. Yeah, ah, I get it. Emma, Emma Frost. That's perfect. I get it. That, that's spot on right there. Ooh, that's right. I forgot about that. She's got some high glowing armor. This is quite interesting. Like she's going to quite the rave. The, the White Queen? Definitely. Definitely not the White Queen. Definitely not the White Queen. It was the White Witch, Emma Frost. Maybe eventually she becomes the White Queen, but as far as my freaking X Men knowledge goes, Emma Frost. She's got diamond plated skin when she wants to. Or she's just a psychic. Right. Indeed. But like I said before, the winner -ers of this match will move on to the tag team ladies tournament. So, if I had to guess, I would have to. Jeez, oh, what a douche! I would have to guess that Jinx and Nina would have the upper hand in this match. But who do you guys have down below? And who else would you like to see in a women's tag team tournament? Put down your suggestions in the comments below from the school of redundancy school jinx coming out of the, like a woman on fire i'm pretty sure i said that before but it doesn't matter because it still applies so this one's for you rj dubs i know you got tifa because she's your bae and as i learned yesterday um bae is not short for babe or baby or something like that oh missing that moonsault but lands on her feet bae is actually an, an anagram for before everything else. So, I did not know that. Or anyone else. Probably before anyone else. That would probably make a lot more sense. Yeah, I had no idea. I don't know these things. I'm old. Sorry. I'm not... Oh! Just spears the fuck out of Emma Frost to the outside. Tosses Tifa to the opposite corner where she meets a big old knee. Oh! And a double boot to the chesticles as Jinx twerks in her face. Where are you crawling, Tifa? You're going the wrong way. Because Nina is going to be right there to keep you in place. She dragged to the center of the ring. Springboard. Moonsault got her all the way across the ring. One. Only a one count. That would be one hell of a quick match right here. Quite the opposite of uh, last weeks um or two weeks ago is tag women's tag team match which lasted forever but you all got entertained by uh, rj dubs's uh doppelganger story in case you didn't see that go back and watch uh, green 93 the, i think it was the one of the last matches uh yeah ryan's doppelganger story was very funny as emma frost makes her way back into the ring or into the ring for the first time towering over jinx she is a large lady or jinx is a very Petite lady, as it were. But, uh, big DDT from the knee. Going to the top rope. The psychic's gonna fly. Where are you going? Going for the hot tag. You better get down. Oh, smartness. Oh, a very low drop kick. Oh, a little bit higher drop kick that time, though. Holy crap, Nina Williams. Grabbing her by the hair and tossing her aside. Second rope. Down again, another hot tag. Here comes Tifa back in. Shoulder block. But, and immediately, momentum is switched yet again. Nina tosses her aside. Oh. Big Hurricane Rana from the corner. Picking up her opponent. And where's she going with her? <laughs> walks over for some snake eyes into the corner. Oh my gosh. And out of the corner into a power bomb. Oh, poor Tifa. Oh man, RJ Dubs, your girl is getting beat up. Oh, big belly to belly. Unrelenting is Nina Williams. Go for that pin. One, two. Oh wow. Two count already. 
Nina Williams calling for something. Looking for her signature already. Oh. Whoa, pump handle overhead suplex. Devastating maneuver. Maybe one, two. Oh, Emma Frost is right there. Oh, <laughs> Nina just kicked Jinx. Botch. Oh, what a quick jab. Stuns Emma Frost. Uh, uh, I mean, stuns Nina. And yet again, Emma Frost with that quick jab. <laughs> oh, but gets speared to the outside. Oh, man. She probably bit some of that table. Nina Williams going to the second rope, calling for Tifa to get to her feet. Oh, misses the worst move in the game. The double axe handle off the second rope. Even worse than double axe handle off the third rope. A uh, suplex there from Tifa, trying to get back into this match. Yeah, you better tell him. Oh, wow, Emma Frost going at it with Jinx on the outside. Who would have thunk it? She is still being distracted by Jinx. Because that's what you got to do. That has made this a one-on-one -on -one match with Tifa and the former Supernova champion. Victory roll. Taking up Nina. Oh! And it looks like a super punch from Tifa. The bare knuckle brawler that is Tifa. Misses that. Oh! And gets one hell of a lariat. Totally zapping all momentum from Tifa. Oh, another belly to belly. Going for the pin. No, Emma Frost is right there. I'm sorry. One, two. Up. Uh, oh, you're right there. You're right there. Oh, good God almighty. Great googly moogly. You were right there, Emma Frost. You were right there. Watching poor Tifa get pinned. What is the matter with you? What is the matter with you? What would your fellow X-Men think to see you stand idly by as you let an innocent get beaten and pulverized to a bloody pulp? Well, she was not really bloody, but she got pulverized. And you just stood idly by like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. Emma Frost, shame on you. Shame on you, Emma Frost. Uh, is this going to be the replay of it? Nah, it wasn't going to be it. And watch Emma Frost do absolutely nothing and stand right next to her fallen compatriot. Yeah, there it is. One, two, hesitation, 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 three. Hesitated. He who hesitates is lost. She who hesitates is lost. It goes for both sexes. It goes both ways. And with that, that will be the end to Magnation Thunder, Episode 9, as the team of Jinx 